Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Optional Channel for UPSC Examination. In today's video, we are going to see the topic called Vernalization. Before starting the video, I would like to request you to join the Telegram channel of the same name that is Botany Optional for UPSC Examination on the Telegram platform. The link for this channel is given in the description box below. Now, first of all, what is meant by Vernalization? Now, the typical meaning of Vernalization is that giving the chilling treatment or say cold treatment to the seeds or seedlings before to induce the early flowering right so that is so that literally means the chilling treatment or the cold treatment given to the seeds to induce the early flowering in plants is termed as the vernalization the very central thing about the vernalization is giving the chilling or cold treatment to the seeds or sometimes to the seedlings of the plants to induce the early flowering. That is, vernalization has a, such an effect on plants that it induces the early flowering so that flower, plant will flower very early in the stage of their development and subsequently the fruiting and the other processes. So to induce the early flowering, we use vernalization in the crop plants. All right. So some plants require this cold temperature or chilling te chilling temperature during their early development to have flowering in their later development right so some plants are totally dependent on this vernalization process as without a vernalization they will not flower they will remain only in their vegetative phase all right so vernalization is quite an important phenomenon which is occurring in the plant kingdom it occurs naturally as well as this can be done artificially as well all right naturally some plants requires the very low temperature during their germination of seed and this low temperature is quite responsible for inducing the in flowering in the latter stages of the development that is those plants are sown in the winter they will eventually flower in the summer now this happens because in a winter there is a low or chilling treatment at the beginning of the germinating seed right so this winter temperature is play a vital role in producing the flowering in the summer so this is the naturally occurring vernalization while on the other hand by observing this naturally occurring phenomenon we can use this method artificially as well that is we take seeds or say seedlings or say sometimes a 10 day old plant and give it a chilling treatment by giving it a chilling treatment we can significantly reduce the time interval between the vegetative growth and the flowering so we can induce early flowering by using the chilling method that is the vernalization so you carefully have to remember that vernalization is not only artificial but is a, it is of a natural occurrence in the nature just from the human point of view we use this method artificially to induce the early flowering right now this vernalization phenomenon was first observed by the clipart in 1857 but the name vernalization was given by the lesenko in 1928 so you have to remember these years as well that is vernalization is first observed by the clipart in 1857 but the name vernalization to this phenomenon was given by the lesson co in 1928 all right now how the vernalization treatment is given that is how we use vernalization to induce the early flowering in plants the very optimum temperature which is required for the vernalization is varies from 0 degree celsius to the 10 degree celsius that is it is depends on the species of plant on which we are using the vernalization that it will require zero degree temperature to the 10 degree temperature during their seed germination this temperature may vary from species to species all right some species will require to the zero degree celsius some species may require the 10 degree celsius chilling temperature now talking about the duration of vernalization in the plant kingdom this period of vernalization varies from some hours to weeks that is some plants require some hours of chilling treatment for the vernalization while some plants requires the weeks of chilling treatment for the vernalization purposes so what we do in a vernalization we take the 
seeds or seedling or say germinating plant of nearly 10 days old and we take these uh, seeds or imbibe them into the water that is it is very essential to imbibe the seeds into the water because the dry seeds cannot be vernalized that is you should carefully remember here that seeds should be the imbibed seeds, seeds and they should be metabolically active seeds that is their metabolism should be active to have the vernalization treatment on them on the other hand if you take the dry seeds it will do not have any effect of vernalization on them all right now these metabolically active seeds were given the optimum chilling te temperature for their during their early stages of development and this duration may vary from some hours to the weeks it depends on the species now after giving this treatment these plants will naturally flower earlier than their the period required in the normal circumstances all right so this is how vernalization treatment is given all right now there is another term called devernalization now this devernalization is exactly opposite to the vernalization now if you give the seeds a hot treatment instead of cold treatment that is we generally give the cold treatment in the vernalization but in a devernalization the hot treatment is given of nearly 35 to 40 degrees celsius temperature which will have the exact opposite reaction than the vernalization that it will make the plant to postpone its flowering right generally in vernalization we prepond the flowering but in a devernalization the flowering is postponed the hot treatment of 35 to 40 degrees celsius were given at the beginning to the seeds to postpone the flowering all right so with the concept of vernalization we also have the devernalization which is exactly opposite to the vernalization now what happened if vernalization got failed now if vernalization is failing then you will observe the plant is growing like this it will grow in their vegetative growth only that is only the vegetative growth is occurring you can observe here as well only the vegetative growth will occur if there are two possibilities or two effects if vernalization failed one is there is a delayed flowering that is flowering will be significantly delayed then second only the vegetative growth will occur in the plant that is if vernalization failed two things may definitely happen one is they must they will show the delayed in flowering and second the only vegetative growth will be taking place the one thing is very important here the shoot apical meristem play a very significant role in the process of vernalization because if you consider the shoot apical meristem growing point of the apex right now this shoot apical meristem if we give the chilling treatment to this part only that is 0 degree to 10 degree temperature to this part only and rest of the part will experience the normal temperature then also the vernalization effects takes place that is the induction of early flowering will takes place now from this you can conclude that that is the typical effect of vernalization only occurs on the shoot of apical meristem it, it can be observed that if you give the normal temperature to the rest of the plant and only give the vernalization temperature to the shoot of apical meristem still then the flowering induces very quickly so the shoot of apical meristem plays a very vital role in the vernalization process all right now what is the significance of the vernalization the very first is is it shortens the vegetative period plus it induces the early flowering and this has a great advantage in the agriculture because in agricultural crops we want early flowering so that subsequently fruiting will take place and we will have the harvesting as soon as possible so 
the first significance of the vernalization that is shortens the visited yew growth and then early flowering will be induced which is very much important from the agricultural point of view the second advantage of vernalization in plants is it made the plant cold resistant that is these plants will always be cold resistant develop the immunity against the cold the third advantage is that the biannual plants can be converted into the annual plants by reducing the period of flowering or vegetative growth if we have flowering in a little time then these biannual plants are converted into the annual plants now those are plants which are germinated from the vernalization are shown to possess the resistance to the fungal diseases so there are four advantages or significance of the vernalization very first is it shortens the vegetative period and early flowering is induced the second the these plants are cold resistance third we can convert the biannual into the annual plant and fourth these plants show resistance to the fungal diseases so these are the some points which shows the significance of the vernalization maybe there are some more points relating with this you should find out them and add to the list another important thing from this channel i would like to discuss with you that some student want videos in hindi language many request came to the channel that your video should be in hindi language so we are thinking to create the playlist in this channel only and this playlist will have all the videos which are made in the hindi so we are going to do the two videos for every single topic one will be in english and other will be in the hindi so this is all about vernalization please like the video and if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany subject and please subscribe to the botany option channel for upsc examination again thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next one